Hello and welcome to another video. I'm Zelp and today in this video is going to be more of a quick fix video um, and also a sneak peek of what is the future game that I'll be playing. Now over here we have Blossomus. Um, quick shout out to Amir Zabin. I hope I pronounced your name correctly. He sponsored the game. He basically bought it for me to play. Um, but I have a problem. This is a 2D platform game and I didn't want to be playing it on my keyboard and mouse. So I have a old controller that is um, can be plugged into my PC via USB. So I did that but the problem comes when I try to run the game other than the front page where it says press any button to enter. Uh, which is over here. I want to show you guys exactly what's the problem. So directional button doesn't work, but if I press, I think that was the analog button or X, it works. Then when I come to this part, again, nothing works. Even if I press X, even, even start, none of the button works. So if I go to my keyboard and I move with WSD, I go to options and let's say go to under games if i go to controller i'll realize that all the uh, key binds are bind to my keyboard and there's no option where it would show for the controller or some people call it a gaming pad um so this is my my problem this is my issue and today i'm going to show you guys how to fix this it's kind of a weird fix and it took me like a few hours trying to figure it out i couldn't seem to find any of this um method on youtube but i did found it in a forum so i'm going to show you guys how to do it so first go under view click on view um before this you probably want to go to controller uh panel control panel and just check and see if your your uh gamepad or or a controller is actually connected so look for device and printer or you should see your uh, joystick USB um, gaming pad thing. If it's not connected or if it's not calibrated well, that would be, I guess, a different <laughs> video. But just make sure that it's connected and then go to view, go to big picture mode. Okay, and then this will kind of roll up. Just wait for it to be gone and then click library go to the game that you want to play in this case is Blasmus. go to manage game and then over here under controller options now this is set by default at least for mine is default as global setting and none so what you want to do is you click on this go to force on click ok and that's it so go back uh, go back again Click on this, exit big picture mode, okay, and then click play. Now, from doing that, it seems to kind of force it to be run on my controller. I'm guessing by default, it has priority on keyboard. So now if I'm holding, like right now, I'm holding my controller, I can go in, I can press up and down. And I want to show you guys the, uh, there you go, I can press up and down. Um, options, game, controls, and you can see that now everything is to my controller and it's no longer on my keyboard. So that is how you can play it. Um, I am facing a different problem though, but it's not something that I can fix. I may actually have to uh, dismantle my controller because it's kind of old um, and my right button to move right it's a little bit, it's not very responsive. I have to press like really hard in order for it to work. So I am going to try and fix that by opening it up and cleaning it a little bit. I'm guessing the contact is not so good, but yeah, I don't think I'm gonna make a video about that. Anyways, I hope this will help you if you have a, um, you know, a USB controller and you're trying to play this game, but it doesn't work. And this might actually work for other games as well. I don't really know. I don't use the controller that much. That's why it's like sitting there collecting dust and now it's have giving problems. Uh, with that, I will end this video. I'll probably be making videos of Blossomus soon. I uh, hope you guys would stick around and take a look.
that is all. Like and subscribe, I guess. Bye-bye.